Generic greetings, I have an idea, and that idea is, wouldn't it be great if we had books that could read themselves, eh? Eh, see, we're on the same wavelength now, I mean, I'm only the ideas guy, not the detail guy, so I don't know how it's going to be done, but um, I'm sure you can crack on with that. I also have another idea, let's go over to Design and Fight, and to the Airship Editor, and we're going to build something, and we're going to build it like most good things around weapons. Now, there's been several different weapons added over the course of the game, and one of the most recent things is Aerial Charges. Now, they are fairly interesting. A tank of charged suspendium dust carrying aloft a bomb fused to explode on contact, often deployed en masse for area denial. So it fires up, you can see the splash damage is 7 meters, blast damage is 40, reload time 3 seconds, fire out 10 degrees. It's the... the thing is, it's the, um, it's the shell velocity that's the problem. It doesn't actually... Um, it fires, but it doesn't really get to a point where it's like... Um, it can't really lead a target very well, and it takes a time to get to its target. So I was thinking about, well, is there any way we can like sort of hold them where they are? And originally I thought, well, ah, easy. What I'll do is I'll um, I'll make two vessels. One that is like a sort of wedge they can wedge things in and tank stuff, and the other one is a lower level vessel with loads of these on it. But I thought, well, why would we need to do that? We can join these up. We can have say these going across like so, and then what we do is we have a harpoon gun, actually a couple of harpoon guns, and we place them in like a scorpion's tail at the back there. And the idea is that you fire the harpoons onto a target that brings them back right above all of these, and it gets absolutely annihilated. There are just a, just a couple of downsides. First thing is that it probably won't work in any stretch of the imagination, and the second problem, which is a lot more of an issue when you think about it, is that what happens to the ship when it starts breaking apart? Well, sadly, these things aren't porous and it's going to land on top of us. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> Today's beverage is um, orange juice with no bits because they didn't have that one. Um. So is this a good idea? No. Are we still going to do it? Yes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Would, re would be rude not to place ten. And we will put this um, equidistance. So, uh, actually, do we just do that? And just. <laughs> I don't think so. I think it needs to be further up because I don't want the splash damage hitting the vessel itself. Um, so, I think we're going to put them there, like so. And we'll place. I think just two of them would be fine. Hang on, let me just place uh, them back in. Uh, yes, I think just two of them would be acceptable. And we'll come down and then sort of connect them up here. So this is our um, main uh, deck for when we're firing up. The armor will be probably steel armor because we need this to survive great hits. Now, we are going to use everything that we can from um, the game that you don't have to uh, fight to unlock or any special unlocks like for example dragon hide shell armor you get that sort of thing uh, anything that needs to be unlocked with different tiers we're, we'll be fine with because we can assume we can build that um in general so that is going to be our um our bit there let's go over to probably resources and down over to small ammo store and we can have a small ammo store say there and there and there and then what we'll do is we'll have under basic, we'll have the corridor with ladders, and then we'll do that. So that connects all these up. The question is, can you go? Ah, oh, you can't. Uh, oh no, they can't. They have got entrances left and right, so you can actually walk around there. If we open up our overlays, we can see pathing is totally fine. That's good. Okay, so they're in now. Um, if we go over to our fire extinguisher, actually, fire extinguisher is a lot better. And um, what I'm going to do is place a fire extinguisher um, at every one of these points, and oh game lagging a bit there. Uh, so fire extinguishers there, so that'll hopefully put all that out, and then we'll go down to a bit around here. So we'll have probably a um, a coal store. I don't think that is unreasonable. Probably, do we want two coal stores? Actually, it really depends on how we're going to keep this thing aloft. In terms of service ceiling, we don't want anything great. Now, this will be, even though it's got a lot of these things, uh, it's going to be quite susceptible to high-level bombing and certainly boarding because those two things are just really powerful. Planes as well will also... Actually, they might be okay against planes. Um, but, to be honest, we never really know until it's tried out. You don't really know until you've actually tried the thing. 
Anyway, in terms of lift, we've got things like a large uh, suspendium chamber. I don't think we're going to go with that one. We'll go with a standard suspendium chamber, which can be placed, um, I think, in probably there. Should be fine. All the problem is that you can't go up. Um, so maybe I should place the coal there and then the suspendium chamber there. Um, although, actually, there's a thing. There's a thing. We could place this large suspendium chamber there because then we'll connect up that way that isn't that isn't too much of a bad idea you know i mean it's terrible um service ceiling 312 meters but considering we're going to put in the heaviest armor on possible um it might not be too bad okay so in terms of coal storage then we need to store some coal um we could put it there and then work our work like so that is not too bad. Let's work on that. Um, the problem is fire and rather the lack of the ability to put it out. Um, <laughs> so maybe put, placing one of those there is a prudent choice. We now need to um, have somewhere to get this to move. I think propulsion will be in the form of... I mean, I could have an engine pod underneath. That is not unreasonable. It'll give us a decent bit of speed. We don't really want that speed, though. Speed for this is... Not really a priority. Uh, a propeller we could place. We could place that. Um, although I think an engine pod is probably going to be the way forward just because of the proximity. So we'll place that there for now. Just a temporary solution, you understand. In terms of um, quarters, well, we'll have one there. The problem with that is the lack of connections going up the top. I think that, that there, that, uh, that fire point is not really appropriate. Um, what we'll do then is place one, two in like so. Actually, no, we'll stick them out the back further like that. Uh, in terms of crew, minimum crew 26, we've got 24 crew. We place one more, that's fine. Uh, we do need a bridge as well, which we will place. Uh, th this is where we've got the issue, you see. Uh, we're starting to run out of places to put things. Um, we're going to put that further down there. We'll place a... Um, a fire point in there and then we'll place a fire point in there that should give us uh, decent connections we want if we can um, some accuracy modifiers we'll have uh, what do you want for accuracy modifiers uh, haven't yet decided we'll definitely need a corridor with ladder to go up to there anyway so that's fine on the top of that, we will have a crow's nest, which is under command and crew. So we'll put a crow's nest on top like so. We'll have a cockpit. No, uh, we do need a bridge, but uh, I don't know where to place it. Perhaps there is sufficient. Um, and then a telescope can go there if we really wanted it to, which I think is fine. Uh, we might as well put something there, though. And... Um uh, telescope there, and then maybe a rifle. Actually, no, we'll put a cockpit there. Just so... I oh, know, because we, we can't go right up top. Uh, has that got a ladder? It has got a ladder. Um, so, actually, to be honest, just that then. Just that. Um, that is fine. That is everything... No, not everything is mutually accessible. What is not accessible? Oh, up here. Um, okay, so I'll remove that and then place some berths because I know that will connect up. Um, crew, we are still hitting the limit, but that is now sorted as right out. But if we put some more of those in, uh, some more berths, we can see that is now all connected. We just need more supply hatches now. So supply hatches we can put at the back there, perhaps, perhaps, let's just see. Um, so we'll go over to resources and we'll see a steel supply hatch, one, two... Three. Okay, that is reasonable, I think. We're going to go over to the decoration, then we'll put some um, angles on this one. Uh, we can't put any angles on that. We want to have uh, just a couple of angles on this thing, so maybe um, flip that that way, like so. Uh, we want the... Uh, where is it? Slope flipped that side, and then I think um, one of those... And then that one. Is that reasonable? Um, actually, you should really armor it up first. In terms of armor, steel armor, service ceiling of 119 meters, heavy steel armor then. 97. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. Um, <laughs> it looks god awful. But um, hey ho. Um, what I'll do is I'll give it a little bit of an edge uh, by probably placing these like so. One there, one there, 
And then we'll have some lanterns on the bottom. Hmm. Like that, okay. And then, actually, I prefer that engine there. I think it would just look a bit better. Although it means travelling further. And if there's a guy coming through your bridge going, excuse me, with a big uh, shovel of coal, then you're probably going to get annoyed. And then we'll have a light facing forward. And that's us. Um, in terms of decoration, um, a meteor. Ooh, flames would be nice. Um... Coat of arms, maybe. <laughs> I like the fact that it's a harpoon. Uh, no. I like that there's a harpoon in that. <laughs> uh, we'll have that there. Okay. And then a steel name pit. Okay, henceforth this shall now be known as the Sandwich Class, and the reason why it's called the Sandwich Class is simply because I picked up the nearest box to me at hand, which happened to be a 176th scale Cromwell Mark IV via Airfix, and uh, the address on the back was that, so that can go on the floor. Let's save the design, and let's see if this is as useless as we all expect it to be. Let's go over to the uh, combat section, and we'll say D, and open uh, airship here, and we'll go for the sandwich now it is uh, as you can see service ceiling not great you can see the maximum height of the shooting height of that 2200 creds let's get another airship and something around about the same point there's the dresden which would utterly decimate us in every single way uh, i was gonna say oh there's an auto save class which is ah oh, wait um the coventry hmm that could be an interesting one um anything closer testington Okay, yeah, that's that's all kinds of... That's actually loads of sponsons. Um, and the Unassailable, which is our high-level bomber because it's got a moon fragment in it. Um, again, that would that would take us to the cleaners. Uh, <laughs> let's go for... Um, I think it's the Coventry is basically the closest thing we're going to get. And it's not ideal because of its, uh, its stature. So we're going to put it like so. And as soon as we start this fight, we have to grapple onto it and pull it in. Now, let's just see if this is as useless as we expect. And 3, 2, 1, and start. So, stop there immediately. We want to say a launch tether up there. Um, unpause it, and we've missed with the tethers. Okay, good start. Brilliant start. And that's exactly what we wanted. Uh, it's going to go up now, and I'm going to say tether it again. And um, no tethers are currently available. Oh, you might also notice that now the um, ammo and water and stuff is... Um, it's not numeric values, it's these uh, little uh, things there, which is pretty cool. Uh, we're still waiting for... Aha! Tethers are away! Tethers are away! It's uh, getting pulled... Okay, past us. That's not what we wanted. Um, in fact, that's the opposite of what we wanted. However, however, it's it's getting held. It's getting held. Let's just back up a little bit. Um, we are firing shots out. Uh, we've lost our... Hang on, have we lost all bridges? Oh, we lost the bridge because we can't get access to it, but we should have... Oh, no, we don't have another one because I removed that. Um, the fact that it can stay behind us is not good. Um, okay, I think we can call that an unmitigated disaster. Let's try that again with just a little extra... A little extra... Um, usefulness added so we're going to go for once again for the uh sandwich let's put it against like something like the sterling which is something we know uh should be of some use oh yes uh i clicked land ships there this against land ships and uh static defenses is obviously completely and utterly useless so there's the sterling we'll place it there again this is ideal scenarios for us where our placement is let's start that fight and it's going to try and come towards we're going to grab it with the harpoons there's the harpoons out and it's going to go up and again it goes straight past so those harpoons are fairly useless. Um, you can see it's not working. Um, although it is holding it there. Um, is there a way to... Uh, what's that? Cut tethers and launch tethers. Um, it's sort of keeping it where we need it to. It's sort of keeping it up. But it's actually because it's on the front and back. It's uh, not entirely working. Um, you can see it is trying to pull us there. Let's launch more tethers again then. Um, although we can't really because of where it is. Although it keeps pulling us back. We have chipped off most of their weapons, which is of some use. I'm going to cut the tethers, and um, what we'll do is we'll um, spin it round, and we'll try that again, and try and grapple onto the front. So we'll say move down to... Uh, well, it seems to be moving there, so I'm going to move down to there, spin it round, and uh, if it tries to go above us, then obviously it's going to get shot by these things here, and it is going to go above us, so I'm going to flip it around immediately, and um, we'll do that, and 
it didn't flip. It didn't do the thing that I wanted it to do, so we're just going to go back over. As like I said, all requires us to launch tethers here. There's some nice shots out, and we're taking the front on there, and let's go up to there. And immediately, good flip, good flip, good shots out. There we go, that's good. Right, let's launch our tethers. So fire, we've got a grapple, and it's pulling it in, pulling it in. That's what we want, yes! Yes! And get absolutely hammered, mate. That's what we want. Right, so it is trying to go back over. It is currently getting absolutely plastered. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. Right, that worked. Okay, let's go back over to Airship Editor. Open design. We're going to open the sandwich once again. We're going to alter the design. The problem is it's bringing up too high. We need these harpoon guns down here. So it pulls it towards that way. So we'll have to start removing some of this stuff. And actually, we'll remove this. Um, like so. And we're going to put them down there. That's that's fine. That's close enough. Do these require ammo, actually? Reload time, five seconds. Uh, small cannon fires harpoon with tether. Doesn't say. Piercing five, reload five. Fire. What's these say? Uh, I'm guessing it does. Okay. Well, that'll have to do. So we want to move these um, further forward. We can actually we can actually redesign this um, a bit better now. I think um, we'll have one, two of those in there. The crow's nest will go on top to about there. Um, do we need any more of these? Yeah, those are fine. We're going to put that in the back there as well, actually, like so. Um, we will have... Ah, oh, sadly, we haven't yet got... Um, do we need berths? More berths in there? Uh, we don't need all that. Well, that wreck crew is 45, so that's not too bad. And what we'll do then is we'll have that there. We'll go over to Command and Crew. We'll have our telescope on the front there. We'll have a, uh, a cockpit there. And then we'll have our crow's nest on top there. Now, obviously, the design is... Um, not as angled as it previously was, but it's not too bad. It's increased the cost of this um, to beyond what I would consider reasonable. Um, and also we've missed out on the fire points, so I'll put one back in. And let's try that again. Uh, it's six points over. That's that's acceptable, surely. That is more than acceptable. Um, I might actually pull these a bit further forward, though, to put in one more fire point in. And then we know that's okay. Um, just a shame about that angle there. Um... Do we need another fire point up there? You can't really have enough <laughs> fire points. We'll save the design, and we're not going to uh, modify that. I think we'll just... Uh, actually, no, we will put it to V2, because this might be useless. Um, so we'll save the sandwich V2, we'll leave that, and then we'll do combat once again. So we'll say add airship, and we'll add the sandwich. Um, version 2, naturally. And we will add once again... We're going to add... Um, against all of these it would be useless um so i mean i've said that a couple of times so i think it does have a very limited um range of options this thing and we'll move that down to about there and then start the fight and immediately pause because the harpoons if they hit now should be a lot better we've harpooned it and it's pulling it towards it and this is good this is working a bit better there we go there we go yes right immediately i can tell that this is better um, it's pulling it to the front bit there, so actually, I don't know why it's going backwards, I think it's because they're trying to pull backwards, I'm going to go backwards, although my engines are broke. Um, the engine pod does seem to be of, um, questionable, <laughs> uh, durability. However, however, you can see we've lost the bridge at the top, we've lost the, um, the crow's nest and such, but because of where they were situated, that one little change in this instance, I mean, <laughs> I'll confess, um, well, not really confessing, but I'll obviously point out quite clearly that um, under a sample of one, um, it's much better. Let's try that again. Airships, sandwich version two. Let's go back to the Coventry. Um, airships, Coventry, and we'll try that again. Um, I reckon we could, I reckon this is going to be, well, I'm hoping... It's going to be a lot better. So we'll say fire that there. Shots are out. And immediately it is getting pulled right where we want it. And there we go. Our shots are going up. It is getting pulled towards the deck. And yeah, we've sort of just held it where we want it. And the problem is now though, is because it's rocking around so much, um, all of our shots are missing. You remember I mentioned about the uh, the shot dispersion and the, um, the speed of this thing? 
Yeah, um, the Achilles heel for this design is definitely that pod. That pod is crippling our ship because as soon as that gets taken out, we can't manoeuvre. We cannot manoeuvre. Um, okay, so I'm going to leave that. We need to change that up. So let's do that. So airship editor once again. Um, let's try and removing that. Flinging in the bin because it is quite, quite useless. Um, and I think instead we'll remove those three points. Um, and instead we will have a... Probably... We could have a large propeller there if we wanted to. Is it... No, we don't need that size. Um, we could have propeller there. Or we could have three small propellers. Um, what's the speed of that then? Um, speed of that is... Uh, 41 kph, um, and what was the price? Uh, 2261. So a standard propeller is 2241 and 48, so that's actually just better for us, for our needs. So we're going to place one of those in. Um, we will put the supply hatches in. Like so. Um, don't want to alter it across like so could although I, what I could also do is place that down there and lower this and it's more efficient that way and then just slope up yeah okay um the other option as well and this might this genuinely might be a bit of a stupid thing to do is um have a ram there have a ram there because when they're brought in it tends to hit this bit what if we put that on a strut what if we put I, is this silly is this is this just completely knacking the design up uh, well I know you can't improve on perfection but I mean this is going a bit far in it uh, okay where is the I think I don't think this is going to stay. I, I think this is uh, a bit useless. Let's try it. Well, we can only try it. It can only not work, and I can only change it, right? Um, service ceiling's fine. Armor is fine. Um, what is the armor? Heavy steel, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, out of interest, what's the difference? Steel armor, um, 50 HP, weight 10, 16 blast, 6 piercing. Heavy is weight 90, H uh, health 20. Uh, and double on the... Oh, not double, actually. It's 24 blast and 12 piercing. Okay, so it's good. And it is better, and there is a, there is a point in it. Okay. Um, shapes and decoration. Let's go for uh, a flip of that slope. Um... Put that there. And then there. Save the design. That's going to be the V2. We're going to over overwrite that. Uh, leave that. Come back again. Um, oh, let's put those rocks right in the wrong place. Um, remember, this is testing. Uh, testing. Dear airship. Sandwich V2. Looks like service ceiling is lowered. I think that ram's going to go. I just think it's a bit pointless. But uh, you never know. Um, airship. Uh, once again, we'll go back to the... Back to the Coventry, because it's it's the closest in terms of points that we've got, and we know that we can sort of verse okay. Let's place that there, start the fight, immediately pause it. Harpoons out. There's the harpoons. It's getting pulled towards us. Shots out. Good shots. Rams in. Um, once again, it's dragging us. It's dragging us. Right. Okay. Okay. I think that's just settled things. We need to hold it. We need the engine power. Airship editor once again. Hmm. We've done a lot more changing of the design than previously. That we normally do. Let's get rid of that. That was a terrible idea in every way. Actually, it wasn't terrible in every way, but it was... Hmm, questionable. Let's go for... Propulsion. A large propeller. Like that. On the back. <laughs> um, in terms of crew, could do with some more. We could we, we could bring this further down if we so desired. But no, need, the, something needs to you need to have it, uh, something for it to crash into. <laughs> as much as that uh, sounds really bad, uh, you do. 
And this is the same propeller that's on the other thing. So if nothing else, we should have... We should be able to hold it where it is. Um, but we'll see about that. So we need to uh, flip that round, rotate that round, and... Where is it? That one. You're right. Save design. Okay. Let's try this again. Add airship. Ooh. Ah, oh, I forgot to put the supply hatches in. No, I didn't. Why is that not working? Ah, oh, supply hatches. Right, we'll probably not have enough supply hatches. Yeah, not enough supply hatches. Uh, because the size of the vessel has changed. There we go. Now we're fine. Um, yeah, because this has got more... It's, it's just a bigger thing. There we go. Save. Save. Okay. Airship. Sandwich. Airship Coventry. Nice livery on it. Start. Grapple. Grapple. You know what I mean. Tarpoons. Um, one of them missed. That's not good. There's our shots. We'll fire again with a harpoon. And... It's not dragging us around as much anymore. Have you noticed that? It's trying to move, but we have the same engine power, so I can move it wherever we want, and I've just hit myself. <laughs> because it was going up and down more, uh, the shots that we fired, we went past, and then we blew the ship in half. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm going to declare this is a success. Not because this this vessel is. I think it's flawed in so many ways and overall not as effective as another thing that is 2,200 points. But you notice that we're a quite a small vessel fighting ones that are a lot bigger. We managed to... If, if this was twice the size, so 20 of these, um, multiple double, uh, multiple large suspendium chambers, multiple engines, so basically we have the power, that we have the engine power to basically go, we are now here, we're not moving like an anchor, and we have the suspendium so we're not getting dragged up and down by the other ships while we're grappled on, basically we'll be able to bully it into submission. I think a larger design would... I honestly think that, yeah, if it was larger, it would be much better. Much better. Um, we've actually grappled it, you might have noticed, uh, which is interesting. Uh, I'm going to say go to there. We've got our grapples now snap, so we're going to have to go around. Um, I did say th rotate and did. I'm going to go down there. And um, I'm pretty sure it did fight. Oh, there we go. There's the grapple. And there's the shots out. Um, it is trying to move around, and it probably will successfully do so. However, we can also follow that up, although most of the shots are missing. We need to get that grapple back on. Ah, I didn't flip again. Damn it. I didn't order it, that one. My mistake. You can see it does take quite a number of hits, though, which is uh, useful. So let's go to there and flip. And there's the grapple out. For some reason, one of them keeps missing, and that's our Achilles heel there. Ah, uh, hang on. We should now be able to go back over. And come on. They're almost there. They are getting reloaded, but I think we've just taken too much damage. One grapple's in, one harpoon's in, two harpoons are in, but it's in that bottom bit there. Um, we're going to go back over again, come on, come on. We're also running out of ammo. Nah, it's not going to go past it. Nah. Okay, um, I think we've learned all we really need. I'm going to do one more test, just out of interest. And I know... <laughs> I, well, I think I know what's going to happen here. Um, we're going to... Field against the Dresden. Actually, is there anything around about the same thing? It's also really expensive now. Um, ah, the Testington. What's that? That is... Oh, that's Harpoons. Uh, sorry, no, that's um, Sponsons. Start. Fire. One grappled in. Come on. It's pulling it. It's pulling it. And shots are out. Once again, fire. Good hits, good hits, good hits, very good hits. Um, part of their vessel's uh, fallen off though, and it's hit ours. Okay, this is 
this is... Why is this a thing? Why is this working? Um, it shouldn't work. <laughs> we should be absolutely dead. Uh, flip. There we go. And... Oh, come on. Nice hits. Nice hits. Okay. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm not entirely confident with anything in life, but um, I'm semi-convinced that we've won this fight, but also I'm convinced that if we had a bigger upscale version of this thing, it'll be like one of those um, episodes of Star Trek or whatever where they find a, sh a bigger ship that sort of consumes them. They have to, you know, it's like a, a much bigger vessel. I remember seeing episodes like that. Anyway, you know what I'm trying to say, at least I hope. Uh, a much bigger version of the sandwich with more suspendium chambers so we can dictate uh, our height. More engines so we can di di dictate our uh, speed and direction. And also a lot more guns. Um, the problem with that is, once again, we're making a very big vessel for a very specific task that we know from the outset is not as efficient as other things. But at least it's fun, because <laughs> that's what it's about. Um, if we did that, it would probably be around the five, six thousand cost. Um, and then what sort of things are we up against? We're up against things like the Austin. And um, the Harrier. Although I think the Harrier would have a really good go beaten. The Necrosis, high-level bomber. But you have to remember... Sorry, high-level uh, carrier Zeppelin. You have to remember that We'll probably never be able to reach them anywhere. Because <laughs> they'll be able to go a lot higher. But that has been a bit of testing in airships. Conquer the Skies. I enjoyed that one. That was uh, a design that I didn't think would work as well as it sort of did. With the very limited testing that we've done. And it shows you just how um, how just a couple of changes, a couple of design changes really altered it. Moving those harpoons from the top to the bottom, bam, straight away just twice as effective, um, adding the engines, uh, removing the engine pod because it fell over all the time, it broke, um, putting proper engines on it means that you know we, we could dictate our movement, then putting the big one on meant that we could hold ourselves and we got more shots out. Yes, it did manage to blow itself up, yes, it's um, not exactly resistant to um, high level bombing or boarding or uh, any, of, any use at all against static defences or ground vessels, but... Um, you can't have everything right. As always, hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have any ideas, suggestions for either changes or new designs, and by all means, put them in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.